Hello everyone. I'm here to show you today how to get your gallery photos to actually shrink to fit your um, Android device. This will actually work on any Android device, not only the Arcos, but any one of your cell phones, um, any you know, any anything running the Android software. Unfortunately, Android um, has more screens than your just your normal computer. It actually has a total of seven different home screens on the Arcos unit. Um, so what you're looking here at is the um, stock uh, wallpaper, live wallpaper that uh, Arcos um, ships with. Under normal circumstances, if you long press and you select your wallpapers, and you go to your gallery, it allows you to choose your own photos, and you can choose any of your photos that you wish. Um, in doing so, if you happen to choose one of your photos, it automatically forces you to crop your photo. So you can move your little box over here, even if you take up this whole picture, this is the whole unit that you would like to display on your screen, you hit save, and you'll notice that once it sets the wallpaper it blows the picture up it's very annoying for a lot of people especially me I mean the, the picture I mean you only get half the picture even if you um, even if you try to turn it into landscape mode you get to see a lot more of the picture but you still don't get the full amount of the picture. There's no real good way around this because no matter how you resize your picture um, from the gallery it will automatically blow it up once you crop it. But however there is an app on the market that's free and it's called Multi Picture Live Wallpaper. So if we download that and then we long press we go to our wallpapers. Under the Live Wallpaper section you'll see multi-picture multi-picture live wallpaper if we select that go to settings you'll see default settings screen 1 settings screen 2 screen 3 screen 4 screen 5 and so forth each one of those screens are a screen in the uh, Android home settings so if you go to each screen we'll go to number one first and on the type of screen we will select single picture and then it will allow us to choose whatever picture we want um, and we can choose it and then once we choose it um, it'll be stored as that screen's picture um, you can change the background you can resize it you can decrease the saturate you can do different things but I just left all them by themselves the other things you can do you can either choose an album you can choose a picture folder um, or you can use the same as the default setting um, but you do have to check if you want different pictures you do have to check the single picture um, the album will actually create like a uh, it will constantly rotate the picture on your screen almost like a, the wallpaper does for Windows 7 it'll constantly change the, the, the wallpaper in the background um, I've got mine selected to single picture so if we go back and you do that for each one of the screens you can choose the same picture or you can choose seven different pictures or how many other screens that you have uh, most of the Android units will have seven, five to seven screens once we choose all that and we get everything done we can hit set wallpaper and now you'll notice because I've already got some of these set in my unit you'll notice that the picture takes up it actually shrinks to the size of the Arcos unit. Not only does it do that, but as you swipe to new screens, the wallpaper will change to whatever screen size. This here is screen number one. That would be screen number two, three, four, five. So if you set those in that order within the settings, each picture will come up. Um, when you turn it to portrait, you'll notice that it blows it up 
and it's still you get the full picture you just get it squished this way instead of the lengthwise but you still get the pretty much the full picture so there you have it yet another quick fix um, this will not be uh, memory friendly for those who are um, you know looking for the, the the app space this does take up some of your app space um, it does not take up very much according to the applications it actually only takes up 200 you can see here only takes up 212 kilobits which is a very small file size um, but it uh, it does make it very nice and it looks a lot better than having your picture uh, pushed into or blown up to where you can't see it well I hope everyone enjoys thank you for watching